Sophia, Hi. what are you doing here? Didn't you know? I'm your new intern. Well, it wasn't my idea. Professor Bonds, he, he gave me the assignment, so... Well, I think it's a great idea. You mean that? <laughs> You're gonna be a great intern. Great. Yes, you are, and we're gonna keep you busy, too. Sophia, welcome to the zoo. Thank you. Try not to feed the animals. <laughs> Sophia, this... This is great. I mean, what a coincidence you got assigned to the Herald. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was kind of shocked when my professor told me. Yeah, well, you know, we... We lucked out getting you. It's gonna be great having you around. <clears throat> this is the longest 24 hours of my life. No! Not gonna do it. There's still plenty of time left. Got a second? Can't you see I'm busy? Doing what? I'm waiting for a phone call. Okay, this is only gonna take a second. We just got a new intern. I think we can use her in the ad department. Not ever. This is not whatever, Jake. You said I could work in the ad department and I report to you, right? Right. So I want to work with a new intern. Yeah, I got a letter around here somewhere from a professor saying that some intern intern was going to start in the ad department. Yes. Now, this is the deal, right? I work for you. Sophia works for me, right? Vicky? Vicky! My feelings. Come on, kiddo. You gotta open your eyes for me, all right? I'm, you're starting to scare me here. Now, come on. Come on, baby. You gotta open your eyes. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna go call the hospital 911. They gotta send an ambulance, so I'll be back. What happened? Are you? What happened to you? I think I just slipped in the shower and I. Oh. Whoa, whoa, I easy. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's easy. It's okay. Now come here. Come here. Do that. Do that. Do that. It's all right. All right. Now, do you want me to call a hospital so we can get an ambulance here and have no, them no, check no, you no, out? No, 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 Really, I'll be all right as soon as, as soon as I just need to sit here for a minute. Are you sure? Yeah, it's... Sure. 
What? I don't suppose I just happened to fall on the floor with my robe covering me up, did, did I? Um... No, don't answer that, please. <laughs> it's, it's a... Okay, excuse me, just... Yeah, of course. Here, um, yeah. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Look, I didn't... <sighs> I don't usually... Walk into women's bathrooms, all right? I heard you scream. And oh, that's no, why I can't... it's okay. I, I really think under the circumstances, you did the right thing. <sighs> yeah. Um... <sighs> Look, why don't I call the hospital, all right? Look, you really, you were knocked out cold. No, you no, should... no, it's all right. I'll, I'll be okay, <sighs> really. I mean, um... May I... hard head. <laughs> well, yeah. May I? Yeah, sure. Does that hurt? Uh, I think it's just bruised a little bit. Yeah, for right now. I mean, uh, what happens in an hour? This is a head injury. Maybe we should take... No, no, it's all right. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I'll make a deal with you if, um... Ugh. I'm sorry. If it gets any worse, I will, um... I'll go to the emergency room of the hospital and I'll have my Uncle John check it out. stubborn <laughs> <laughs> like i said uh... <laughs> <Our head. laughs> when i heard you scream do you have any idea what i was thinking no i don't think i should tell you what i was thinking <sighs> well, i'm glad you were here <laughs> i don't know why but i worry about you you don't have to. I mean, it's nice that you do, but yeah. you don't have to. I do. So, um, let me get you up off this floor, okay? Here, um, I, I honestly, I, I can get up. I, I can walk. <laughs> God, you're stubborn. Um, you can walk, but you're not going. No, to, no, okay? no. Wait, really, really. This Vicky. isn't necessary. I mean, I am larger than you are, and much stronger. <laughs> You don't give up, do you? No, I don't. Would you please just let me help, okay? Okay. 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 God, you scared me. All right, now put this around here, all right? You okay? Easy, easy. Right, did I good? really scare you? Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> now don't do it again, okay? <laughs> Yeah, not a problem, you know? I mean, Thanks. you know what I mean. I still can't believe that happened. Yeah. Grant? Oh, excuse me. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Jen, I swear, I had no idea. It won't leave this room. What won't leave this room? Look, uh, let me just... We're Whatever you here. thinking, pal, it's wrong. Oh, I'm, I'm sure it is. And I knocked. I did when I was downstairs, but when no one answered, I... You know what? This is all my fault. Excuse me. I'll be right back. Hold it. Take Harrison. your hands off. Me. Not until you tell me what you're doing here. I don't answer you. Who do you think you are? I told you never to show up here uninvited. Get him out of here. Come on, come on. Wait a minute. Come Take on. your hands off. Ow! 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 Don't worry, all right? Don't worry. I'm not going to let him hurt you. I promise. Distort what happened in there in your sleazy mind. Oh, no, you're right. I, I, I misinterpreted what I saw in the room. Yes, you did. I'm sure there's a perfectly Stop innocent... Stop it. A okay. I was upstairs taking a shower, and I slipped and fell. I hit my head. Bobby was downstairs. He oh heard. Are, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. You should Thank see you. a doctor. I'm you fine. Thank you. What okay. do you want? 
Well, I, 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 I want to apologize. Oh, would that be for arguing with Carl in front of my child or for almost causing the death of someone that I love? I do feel responsible for it, and I regret any part that I played in this. Well, I wish I believed you, Grant, but I don't. You know, the children are what's important now, and I, I only hope that this terrible incident has had the same effect on Carl as it's had on me. Carl feels terrible about what happened. I want to put an end to this, this violence, this hatred. I, I want peace. How come all of a sudden you want to play nice? I don't want to play. I don't want to play these games at all anymore. I want to end them. I want peace. And, and we can do that right now if you just mm. forgive me. All right, fine. I forgive you. This Good could night. be a new beginning, Victoria. I swear. Call before you come next time. Good night. Harrison. Ah, Grant, how are you? It's Gary Sinclair calling, and I have an invitation from Captain McNamara for you to come on down to headquarters here ASAP. It's really necessary, Lieutenant? Absolutely. We have some information that's surfaced regarding Cody Mercer, and it directly pertains to you, pal. Hey, don't you have work to do, buddy? Yep. I'm going to be very busy. Good. Listen, uh, what were you and Jake talking about before? I saw you in there. Hmm. We were just going over my new duties since I've been assigned to the ad department. Man, I am gonna really like my new job. Nice try. Nice try. What the hell are you doing? Not now, Matt. I'm busy waiting what for a... What the hell are you doing? You and your little schemes to help Schemes? Nick. You, know you driving are me so crazy. paranoid. Let... Okay. It's just a coincidence. That Nick's in charge of the intern, the new intern. Who what's just the happens big deal? To She's be an intern Sophia. in the ad department. That's where Nick happens to work. What's oh, the problem? And he just happens to have a job in the ad department that you gave him. There's no mystery, Matt. Nick works for me. I'm the publisher, and the kid wants to sell ads. I don't care what he does. I don't care. Just as long as he stays away from Sophia, okay? Oh, I see. So this must be a personal problem you have it here, Matt. She doesn't want to be around him. Mm. Okay? Mm hmm. Quit interfering. Okie dokie, but rule number one, you see, we leave our personal problems at the door. We have a newspaper to run, Matt. What the hell are you doing today? Sitting around all day waiting for a phone to ring. It's none of your business, my friend. Is it Sophia doesn't answer to Nick, okay? No, that's not your call, so don't worry about it. I got enough problems anyway, all right? Have a good day, Matt. Do me a favor. Meet me at Sassy's tonight. Hey, Matt, have you got a minute? Yeah, sure, sure. What's up? Well, um, I, I hope me being here isn't going to be a problem for you. I don't, I don't want to put no, you in an no, awkward no, no, position. No, I, I, I appreciate your concern, but I think but, but you it's going to be fine. Well, our friendship, it's a lot more important than, than some internship. You know, I, I just don't want to mess that up. You know, in fact, I can call Professor Bonds right now, and I can tell him that no, he can switch me. No, stop it. Another... Stop it. I want you. I think you're going to fit in around here. The Herald is lucky to have you. Okay? You mean that? Of course I mean that. All right, so you're going to be honest with me. I mean, if Absolutely I mess up... Absolutely honest. Okay. Aren't I always honest with you? All right, so if I mess up, you're going to you're gonna call me on it. You're going to treat me like any other employee. Of course, yes. Okay. All right, so where do I start, boss? Well, first of all, I, I, I'm not your boss. You're not going to be reporting to me. Hey, Matt, don't forget that it's my job to show the new intern around. Did you want to say something? Yeah, well, 
Yeah. <clears throat> Are you okay? I mean, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm actually, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. You sure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. <laughs> okay. So listen, you wanna um, you wanna come take a look at this to make sure if it's okay? Oh, Cause I, sure. you know, I, I redid the frame and it, it should shut okay right now. So yeah, it looks great. Good, good. Great. I'm you sure? I yeah, look, look, you're something with a tool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving. I got to get out of here. I'm I'm going to take off. Oh, okay? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, because sure. I, you know, sure. I'm done with this, and I don't want to start anything yeah, new. You, you've and, done so much today, anyway. I'm, yeah, so, I'm sure you're tired. I'm tired. It's been an interesting, interesting day. Yes. Oh goodness, I'll tell you, never a dull moment around here. No. No. No, it's no. not. Something wrong? Yeah, actually, there is. Um, what? Look, about what happened upstairs. <laughs> Please, I I'm begging you. Upstairs, I just, no, you know, No, listen about to me, it. all right? Listen, I don't know Grant Harrison, and believe me, I don't want to know oh, Grant Grant! Harrison. What happened upstairs yeah. with Grant? Okay, um, what about Grant? Vicky, I know you had a conversation with him, all right? But, look, you gotta know, he's gonna use what he saw against you. <sighs> well, now, what are you gonna do? I can handle Grant, besides. He's done a lot worse to me. <laughs> a lot worse. I can't vouch for anything Cody Mercer might have said. The man was insane. No, no, Bobby's not here anymore. Yeah. Yes, he went home. Right. No, no, uh, nothing, nothing happened with Bobby. Yes, I'm in a bad mood. All right, Grant stopped by. It wasn't pretty. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, uh, at midnight, that's when my... 24-hour deadline with Jake is up, and uh, that's when he wants to know whether or not I think we have a future together. Professor uh, Bonds, earlier, yeah. BCU. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to the Herald. Thank you very much. Oh, Professor Bonds, is there, is there a problem? Oh, not at all, Sophia. I was just uh, checking with Mr. Corey to see how uh, if he's pleased with his new intern. Oh, very pleased. Everything's working out great. Why don't you take a seat in my office, and I'll be right with you. Right. Terrific. Matt. Yeah. Matt, I forgot. I, he's checking on me. I think he's... Don't worry about it. I'm gonna go in there and tell him you're great. Right. Listen, did you finish filling out the papers for personnel? Oh, yeah, I did. I'm, I'm ready for my orientation. Great. Right. Right. Uh, that would be my job. I think I'll have Chris Madison show you around. Chris Madison, where are you? There you are. Yes, Come on Chief, over here. Up? Listen, could you give Sophia a grand tour of the Herald? Well, now the pleasure would be all mine. Right this way, Miss Carlino. Thanks. Thanks. Excellent. We'll see you later. All right. Oh, that was pretty smooth, Matt, but like it or not, Sophia works for me. I think I'm going to be handling Sophia's internship myself. You know what I mean, Matt? Yeah. Where you can pull all the strings you want, Matt. Doesn't change the fact that your chances with her are slim and none. You know, you're just skating on thin ice. Just stay away from Sophia. Yeah. yeah. What if I don't? <sighs> Listen, you have one chance to hold on to this job, and that is if you stay away from Sophia. Well, she works here, Matt. I'm going to have to speak to her sometime. Well, keep it professional. If there's one hint of sexual harassment, you're going to find yourself without a job. It goes both ways, Matt. As long as Sophia works here, I'm going to be watching you. Count on it. Let's 
Scotch meat, please. Hey, what's up? I, I guess I'll have myself a beer. Wow. Man, what is that aftershave you got on? Is that is that 90 proof? I got a whole box of mints in my pocket. Take as many as you like. Why don't you cut him off? Wait. I can drink with the best of them, right? Of course, I guess I could see tying one on, seeing how everybody in town hates your guts. If I care. I mean, I'd want to get plastered, you know, if, if, if I did something that I thought was heroic and everyone thought I was in cahoots with a killer. Pretty crummy life, don't you think? Much as I hate to admit it, McKinnon, you're uh, right. <laughs> what? You're looking at the town pariah. <laughs> no matter what I do, it's just not good enough. Yeah, well, I guess if you kill your brother, you kidnap your wife, not to mention what happened to Stephen the other night on the tracks. Like I said, yeah, it gives people a lot of reason not to trust you. You know what? I could take it. I could take all of it. If Charlene had turned her back on me. And then again, if you could get your hands on Kirk Lindor, or get even with Carl or any of your other e enemies, you know something, you're pathetic. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm my own worst enemy. <laughs> Tell me something, McKinnon. Who's yours? I don't know, Grant. You got me hanging. Who? Bobby Reno. Huh? <laughs> Victoria's handyman. <laughs> Now you tell me something, McKinnon. Which one of us has the tougher opponent? Hmm? Hey, Sophia. So, uh, how's the new job going? Well, it's my first day, so we'll see. Yeah, well, you know, for what it's worth, I think you already fit in great. It's like you've been here forever. staring at me like that, please? Yes, yeah, sorry, I just was wondering how long you were gonna fight it. Fight what? You and me together. Look, I have a lot of things Are to do. Are you gonna tell here. me you're gonna ignore this? I don't wanna have this conversation, Sophia, okay? of all the businesses in Bay City, your professor sent you here, the Herald. Come on, it's fate. I don't believe in fate. You used to. Yeah. <clears throat> I used to believe in a lot of things. Not anymore. Oh, in fact, I do believe in one thing. I believe in free choice, and I choose right now not to have anything to do with you. Sophia, you said you gave me to Christmas to prove to you that I changed. I mean, did you mean that? Do I still have a chance? I have a job to do right now, okay? Can you just let me do it, please? Yeah. Sorry, okay, I, the last thing I want to do is make things more awkward for you than, than they already are. What are you talking about? What do you mean? With you and Matt. I mean, it's got to be weird working here when you guys just split up. We did not. Matt and I are friends. Good, Th that's good. I'm sorry it didn't work out. It's Matt's loss. Here. Not me. I didn't do it. <sighs> Thanks for stopping by. Miss Corey, thank you very much. Hey. Sophia, good luck. Thank Take you. care. Bye. So, that, well, this was really sweet of you, huh? Well, I wish I could take credit for it, but uh, it's not for me. <clears throat> then who's it from? Excuse me. Someone had to teach these animals how to treat a lady. Sophia, welcome to the hotel. Thank you. <laughs> and listen, Professor Bonds, don't worry. You're going to get all that computer software, I promise. My dad's company is more than happy to donate it to the university. Well, I mean, that was our deal. I'll be expecting it. It's no problem. Okay, well, thanks again for setting us up with Sophia Carlina. Well, uh, Mr. Corey certainly seemed pleased by her. You know, Sophia is an excellent student. Yeah, she's the best. And listen, Professor Bonds, remember, no one can know this whole internship thing was my idea. Nobody knows.
is happening to me? Oh, God. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm a good friend of Grant Harrison's. He recommended your restaurant to me. I was wondering if I could uh, make a reservation for this evening. The best seat in the house, of course. No, th th that would be fine. Listen, uh, I have a question. Is uh, Mr. Harrison going to be there this evening? No, oh, well, what a shame. You wouldn't happen to know where he is, would you? Well, thank you. I will call back. Son of a... Harrison, where are you? Sinclair, how long are you going to stare at that letter? As long as it takes. Do you know that this, this should have been run through forensics? I mean, come on. We've we, we got to check the postmark for authenticity. This handwriting needs to be checked. Look, Gary, I know this is tough, but sometimes we just have to know when to call it quits. Yeah, I'm not calling it quits, Captain, until we nail Harrison to the wall. That's the deal. Look, you got nothing to go on but suspicion, and that is not enough. Well, it's enough for me when I have a gut feeling that Harrison was involved in this thing from the beginning, and I want to know how. I'm sorry, Gary. I'm not reopening this case. It ends here. And quite frankly, I need your work on more pressing cases. Listen to me. There are a lot more bad guys out there. As of now, you're on a new assignment. How'd you do it, Harrison? How the hell did you do it? Bob Rios, handyman. That's pretty good. What is it that you think about me? You know what? You know I, about I, Mr. I, I, you know, I should mind my own business. Bartender. You know, you're right. You should, but you already opened your can, so why don't you just finish it, Grant? Well, frankly, I, I just can't figure out why you uh, haven't figured it out by now. <laughs> What is wrong with me? Am I some kind of idiot? I don't pay attention to you when you're sober, much as when you're when you're drunk. Yeah, is that why this engagement of yours won't work out? You want a, a, another stuff for mm -hmm. right? How, how did you know that I proposed to Vicky? Oh, that's not important. What's important is that somebody, somebody is putting a wrench in your plans. Maybe it's more like a hammer and nails. <laughs> 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 There's nothing I hate more than a man who can't hold this liquor. Wake up, you jackass. Somebody is worming his way into Victoria's heart, and it ain't you, babe. <laughs> you know, you're just so upset that, that Vicky and I are happy. That's your problem. Oh, yeah, if you're so happy, what are you doing here? Huh? You, you want to know what I think? I think she's doing to you exactly what she did to me. I think she's making a fool out of you. Don't. <laughs> you compare what Vicky and I have to that sham of a marriage that you had. And as for Mr. Reno and his toolbox, Vicky could care less. Oh, really? Is that why he's making all those renovations in her bedroom? Oh, oh that's very funny, man. That's funny, because that <laughs> second there I thought you said that... Uh, bedroom. I did. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you suppose that Bobby Reno is making there. Huh? <laughs> NBC Tonight. She's a star prosecutor who puts criminals away. But now one killed her husband and she wants more than a conviction. Now it's personal and she wants revenge. Homicides Michelle Forbes and Stalker Channing star in The Prosecutors. And Tuesday, a great night of must-see TV comedy with all new episodes of Something So Right and Caroline in the City. NBC Tuesday.